Welcome, here I've got Vivo X51 5G and I'm gonna show you how to use the camera promote at this device. So let's start by tapping on the camera button to open it and for now we are in the standard photo mode. Let's change it by using this settings bar and just simply going to the right to more. Here we have access to other modes of this camera and one of this is the promote, so let's tap on this. Here we are. This mode gives us possibilities to choose some shooting parameters by ourselves. This is useful when we want to learn photographic skills or making experiments, for example. So let me start with this settings bar. Let's go from the left. The first one button here is the exposure compensation. We get access to this slider and here we can control the light of our picture. By going to the right, we can make our photo more bright, as you can see. And by going to the left, we can make it or dark. So this is how to use this and at the center of the slider we have zero parameters so we can easily go back to the auto exposure compensation. Now let's have a look at the next one button. Here we have ISO so we can control the camera's sensitivity to light. By using this slider we can make it less sensitive from 50 or by going to the right we can make it more sensitive to 3 and 2000 so this is really wide spectrum and this is really pro thing here. At the beginning of the slider we have auto settings, so of course there's no problem to go back to the auto ISO. The next one button here is the shutter speed. Here we can control the time of taking of our picture. We can make it much shorter from 1 and 12 thousand of second. So this is really short time and this should be better for example to objects that are in move with a good light. Uh, to throw them, them at the picture. By going to the right on this slider we can make our time of taking picture much longer. Well, let's go to the end. The longest time here is 32 seconds, so this should be definitely better to objects that are stable. And of course at the beginning of the slider we have the auto settings, so we can easily go back and start using this from the beginning. The next one button here is the white balance. Here we can control the temperature of our picture. It depends from the light we have in the area where we take up a photo. So we can pick here the white balance with tungsten light, then incandescent, sunny, cloudy, also sunset and overcast. At the end of the slider, we get this colorful icon, so we get access to the extra slider and here we can control manually white balance in Kelvin degrees by using this. As you can see by going to the left we can make it more cold, by going to the right we can make it more warm, so this is kind of balance between the blue and the orange light. And of course at the beginning here we have the auto settings. Now let's move to the next one button. Here we have the focusing. Now we are on AF from the autofocus. By using this slider we can change it to MF to the manual focus. And as you can see we can easily focusing like that as we need. And at the beginning we have also autofocus. And now let's have a look at the last one button here. This is extremely useful because when we adjust all of the settings manually and want to go back to the auto settings, we don't have to do it separately. If we don't want to, we can just simply tap on this button from the right and then all of this goes back to the auto settings. We can start using this now from the beginning. Now let's have a look at this button with lens here. Here we can change the lenses of this camera in the pro mode. We have the super wide angle lens and this is how it looks like. We have also medium telephoto and now as you can see we can get closer and the closest one is the telephoto. So when we want to take a picture of something that is far away this should be useful. And of course by tapping on this X letter here we can easily go back to the standard lens. And now let's move to this button at the center. When we tap on this, we get access to this extra line. This is the camera leveler here. And this is useful when we want to keep our photographic topic straight at the picture. As you can see, this is how it works. And the orange signs with this line shows us that now we are correctly um, 
adjusted the level here so we have the straight picture and now uh, let's turn this off by tapping on, the, on it again and let's move to the right corner to this button here we get access to some advanced camera settings most of them is also in standard uh, camera in standard photo mode but let's slide down here here we have some professional functions when we tap on it we get access to the histogram by using this button we can easily turn it on and turn it off so let me keep this turn it on let's go back to the camera to see it and here it appears as you can see and the other professional function here is this one 20 megapixels RAW plus JPEG so here we get access to the RAW format which is used by professional photographers to saving more details at the picture and uh, post producting them in graphic programs so this is also really profing and of course by using these buttons we can turn it on and off as we need so for now the histogram is also turned off when we go back to the camera preview we can see that it disappeared and uh, this is how to use this mode now let me use the settings to take a picture so for example let's stay on this here let's change the speed maybe here the white balance this one the focusing let's stay and to see my picture let's move here to the left corner at the bottom by tapping on this button we get quick access to the gallery and this is how it looks like thanks for watching subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up